In this video, I will show you how a teacher can add their class of students to their profile so they can later send test works to the class and view statistics and learning results. After your teacher profile has been registered and identified, you can choose existing classes at your school to add to your profile or register new classes. First, open My Classes in your yaclass.in teacher profile from the site menu on the left hand side. This is a section of the site where all your classes will show up and you can access statistics and more information about students in your classes. If you don't have any classes yet, the system will offer you to add new classes. Click on the button Select My Classes. If any students are already registered in this school, either by themselves or by other teachers, you will see these classes here and can select any of them. You can click on the arrow button to preview which students have already been registered. Do not worry if everyone is not here yet. You can register these students later and they will also appear in the class. If you want to add any of the classes listed here to your teacher profile, just mark the class or classes with a checkbox. You can choose multiple classes if these are relevant to you. If you do not see your class here, or it does not have enough students, you will need to register your students. There are two ways of registering students for a class. You can ask your students to open www.yaclass.in and register themselves, or you can register your students yourself. For the first option, asking students to register themselves, instruct your students to register on Yaclass and select the correct school and class. Every student that registers will show up on the class list. For students to register themselves, they need to open www.yaclass.in and register with a student profile in your school. In the previous video, we already looked at registration. For students, it's very important to choose the correct school and class so they will automatically show up in your class. Please note that an email address is required for registration. Please also note that for students younger than 14 years old, they will need a parent's permission to use the site. If you don't want the student to go through these steps, we advise you to use the second option, where the teacher registers the student by themselves. For the second option, where you as the teacher register the students directly to the site, return to My Classes and click on Select My Classes. At the very bottom of the page, there is a button called Add Class. Select the class number and type in the class section or letter. You can add more classes here if you want, but we will continue with registering students into this class. Click Save, and you will see the following information, that you have just created a new class and that you should register students in this class. Click on the button Register Students. You will now see a simple form that you can fill in in order to register the first student. Please note that when you register a student, the teacher can choose the option User has no email, which will allow the student to be registered without an email address. If you choose this option, you can register the students with a username, which the student can later use to log into Yaclass. Usernames can be any combination of words and letters or numbers. Please also note that if you register students by email instead of just a username, they will also get all necessary information sent to their email about registration and any homework assigned on Yaclass by the teacher. Now let's register some students with usernames as an example. First, fill in the name and surname. Let's create a username for this student. For example, the first letter of their name and their surname. 
we recommend not to use spaces. If the username already exists in the system, you will get a notification asking you to choose another username. In this case, we advise just to add any number at the end of the username. For example, if the student's name is Donny Pajit, username could be dpajit1. Then choose the correct gender of the student and click Create. You will now see that the first student has been created. And you will see a table with information about the student automatically and an automatically generated password for that student. You can download an Excel file with this table or print it, but we recommend to first add all the other students before doing that. At the top of the table, you will see a link to add another user. And in the same page, you have all the same fields to register another student. Let's do that now. This way we continue to register all the students in the class. Of course, it is very important to give the usernames and passwords to the students so that they can log in. Just click on Download CSV and you will get an Excel table with all the information. You can also simply print it right away. Then you can just print the list, cut the sheet by rows, and give each student their own paper with their login and password information. For each student, there will also be a link to the website so they know which site to go to. We do not recommend to show the entire sheet to all of the students so they do not see each other's passwords. Now let's take a look how a student can log in with this information. First, the student opens www.yaclass.in. Click on Login on the upper right side. The student then puts in the username and the password that the teacher gave them. The first thing they will see is their profile information, which they can edit if necessary, and request to change the password as the automatically generated password is just temporary. They can think of their own password by clicking on the Change Password link. The student can then use the site, browse materials, and solve any test works given by the teacher. Now that we've seen how the student can easily log into the website, let's get back to your teacher profile and finish the class registration. Click on Finish Registration and you can see that the class has been automatically added to My Classes. Click on Start, and you can see that when you log into your teacher profile, that your classes will always be visible on your Start page, as well as in the menu section, My Classes. Here you will have quick access to all the information about the class, such as activity and subjects, test work statistics, lists of students and parents. If you want to make any changes to your classes, just click on Select My Classes again to choose a new class or to remove any classes from your list. If you want to add new students to any of your existing classes, click on the Students icon below the class name. You will see a brief summary of all the students registered in the class. To add a new student, just click on the Add User button and you will start with the same student registration process as explained before. Also, on this page, for two weeks after the creation of the class, there will be a button called Recently Created Users, where you can access the table of all the created users and their temporary passwords if for some reason you need to print this list again. You will also see Last Activity, so you know which students have logged in and when. For each student, there are also several commands, such as edit profile information, expel user from school, and change password. If for some reason they have forgotten their own password, if you need to change their information, or they are no longer attending your school. 
Thank you very much for your attention.